If you go through each lender group, uh, whether it be CMBS lenders, insurance companies, banks, agencies, there's only one lender group that is projecting on average that they're going to be flat or down, uh, and that is, the, uh, that is the agencies, whereas every other group, uh, CMBS investors are very optimistic in the growth of the CMBS market. Life insurance companies are optimistic. Banks are extremely optimistic. So if we factor all of those, uh, all of those things together, um, the market is looking for uh, greater than 5% growth uh, in aggregate. The MBA will come out with a, uh, with a survey of their own, which will uh, suggest 5% uh, aggregate market growth in 2014. At Percadia, we're looking for about uh, around 5%, uh, maybe more, maybe less. But our, our projection is based less on the amount of volume we think is going to be in the market. We're not as, as, uh, as optimistic as some of those other lenders. Less on the amount of volume that there's going to be than the fact that we've been growing our footprint and growing the number of uh, mortgage bankers that we have. And so with that in mind, we. With a bigger base of mortgage bankers, we will uh, we expect to make serve more borrowers and make more loans. Because the agencies have not received any guidance from the FHFA, uh, I think there's a fair chance that there will be no mandate uh, or or order to shrink, uh, and that market forces will determine largely where the agencies are competitive or not competitive. And uh, I think that. Uh, the agencies will continue to be very competitive in, uh, in secondary markets, in tertiary markets. They will be very competitive on smaller transactions. Uh, I th also think that they will be uh, competitive uh, in some of the primary markets where there's a borrower that's looking for uh, a, uh, a structure that is a structure that is, is has similar flexibility, let's say, to a, to life, to a life company structure but has more proceeds or has similar rate to a CMBS, uh, CMBS loan, has a more favorable structure from the borrower's point of view. So I think the agencies will be extremely competitive. We've been spending a lot of time meeting with them out here, and they intend to win business in every market where they want to and with every, uh, with every sponsor that they want to win. Uh, I think CMBS lenders will be competing very aggressively for market share. Uh, four years ago, there were 10 conduits. Now there are 37. Uh, I don't think there should be 37. On one hand, I'm kind of happy that there are 37 because there are many options for borrower, uh, borrower clients. Uh, but I think that uh, it's generally good news from a borrower point of view. Uh, you will see lots of competition uh, between conduits. What it means is the conduits will be competing to offer, uh, offer a low rate to borrowers. And in the process, the conduit issuers will be accepting less profitability for themselves because what's not going to change, I don't think, is the amount of end demand that there is for the bonds that are created in the CMBS process. The long only money managers like a BlackRock or a PIMCO or a WAMCO, they will only buy the bonds that they will, bu they will buy. They will not buy more than a certain amount. They, they don't have any magic, magic ability to increase the amount that they have available for CMBS. They will buy what they want to buy and they won't buy any more. So if a, if a conduit issuer is trying to compete for business and win, and win that business, the, the price that they'll receive from the CMBS investor is fixed. The only way they can compete for business is by accepting less profit themselves. So with 37 conduits as opposed to 10 four years ago, you will see a lot of competition among CMBS issuers. So it's good for borrowers.